Well, we have three or four inches of snow outside, so it's back to the building board. Um, I've been working on this um, mini Playboy, and I really enjoyed making this wing. I've cleaned up one side. The other side, I haven't sanded down or cleaned up yet. Uh, really rather nice. And now it's time, I think, to turn my attention to the tail surface. And there we go. If I take this in a little bit. There you can see it's a rather large uh, tail surface. As you would expect from a former free flight design. It's also a lifting tail. It's not your flat bottom section which you would expect to find in a radio control model and therefore the CG is going to be pushed quite back, uh, far back on the wing. It's going to be at least 50% um, from the lead edge I would imagine. And when I've come to do this there's a slight issue and the issue is this. The only rib profile which is shown is this one for the middle section. And these aren't illustrated. And as you can see, they taper. So that each one's going to be different. Now, it is possible to draw these ribs using this starting point by using a piece of uh, geometry. And I've looked at it, and frankly, I'm not going to waste my time doing it. It is possible to do. But what I'm going to do instead is these are cut out of plywood using this as an outline i'm going to use them as templates to cut out enough ribs and obviously they'll be oversized but the spar locations will remain the same and what i'm going to do is simply cut them to length and glue them in position using the lead and edge as a guide and the the air um the elevator hinge line and then when they're all it's all done i'm going to sand the whole thing to profile i think that makes far more sense than to actually produce separate drawings for each of these ribs we'll see how it goes obviously these will have to taper down towards this rib here so that that thickness i would imagine won't be adequate we'll see i think that's the approach i'm going to take i'll let you know how i get on well a couple of days on and about four inches more of snow so the planned flying session isn't going to happen this morning so time to get a little bit of building done and what i've done here i've cut out some um four mil balsa for the leading edge from a sheet uh, uh, using the stripping tool that I demonstrated a few videos back. I formed the end tips. There's a left hand and a right hand one. They follow a similar plan to the uh, wings in the sense that the part of the leading edge is thicker than the trailing edge. So produces a nice smooth transition and I've also cut out all of the ribs to the core size the largest ribs that are shown on the tail plane now there's a taper going on here towards the end they get shorter in length of course but I also think the profile will need to change now I did have an attempt at doing that using the geometric chart and I just couldn't get it to work properly so I'm going to go sit to the pan stuff and I'm going to work it out as I go along. So I'm going to pin this down and I'm going to pin the bottom spar down which is a strip cut out of fairly stiff 3 by 3 mil balsa and that's going to become the datum for cutting and placing each of the ribs so i'll get all this pinned down and the fixed parts glued down and then we'll see how it goes from there progress made all the ribs for the tail surface 
have been cut to length using the lower spar as a, a datum point. And then obviously there's evidence that it tapers down towards the end. But the problem, as I've already identified, is that we only have the profile for the root rib. And I've discovered that by carefully placing the top longer and stringers, spars onto the top, I was able to notch down into these two ribs to get the required down elevation to blend into the tip. And by doing that, I was then able to just reprofile them. And what I've ended up with is a rib like that and the other one is just a slightly modified from this. Now personally I found that far easier than trying to use geometry to produce it. I just haven't got the time or patience to do that. I think this will work out really well so the next thing is just to glue what I have in there in place and then add the top stringers on to the structure and then the back here is the elevator with a bar going across joining two of the two halves and this centre section needs to be completed so that it can locate on the fuselage. So next thing let's get these glued in place. That didn't take very long at all. So the basis of the horizontal stab is now completed. The spars, upper spars have been added. They're quite lightweight, but that's fine. We need to keep the weight down at the back. Um, now to build up the rear elevators. Here are the parts obviously need to be cut to length. I'll pack between these with, maybe use the pins actually, to keep a, a slight gap when I'm making them. They will have to be shaped to allow the elevator to move. And this section here needs to be built in. Uh, provision on here is shown to actually locate the tail surface with rubber bands. I won't be doing that. It'll be permanently fixed to the fuselage. So I'll be altering the design slightly in this section to do that. But at least I'm making time of this uh, awful weather. Next, the elevator. Well, I think I've made good use of a lousy winter day. Uh, done a bit of building. As I always say, if you can't get flying, you have to get building. It's at least 50% of the fun for me. This will need to be lifted off the board. And when the weather's less horrid, I'll go outside and give it a good sand to shape and to profile. It needs a wire hinge in here. But that's the horizontal tail surface done. The next task will be to um, perhaps, I think I'll sheet this on the underside at least uh, and perhaps on the top, make the fin and then the fuselage is next and I have to make a decision on which way I'm going to go with the motive power. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please subscribe and you'll see the rest of the updates. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Have a good day everybody. Bye now.